of first importance. That's what I've titled today's Daily Dose. You know, this week is Passion Week, the week that we remember the cross. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. This week, it's a clear picture of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But rest assured that this good news of Jesus is not just important, only important during Easter, but the gospel of Jesus is the most important message, the most important news ever given to mankind. You know, I've been discussing this the past two Sundays at Evident Life Church, and, and I just I don't think we can get enough of focusing on the gospel. What is the gospel message? What is it that every human being that's ever walked this planet needs to hear the most important message, the most important news of all time? The Apostle Paul, he was used by the Holy Spirit to write half of the New Testament. Now, he laid out many, many doctrines. Read the New Testament. He gave guidance to the church. He gave encouragement to the church, challenge and conviction to the church. But Paul was clear. There is something he wrote that is of first importance, more important than anything else he's written, anything else he said. And here it is. It's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning in verse 3. Paul says, For what I received, I pass on to you as of first importance. Here it is, the most important thing of first importance, that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scripture. And that He was buried. And that He was raised on the third day, according to the Scriptures. And that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. 1 Corinthians 15. Hey, look. The most important thing every human needs to hear and every human needs to know and receive and embrace is that Christ Jesus, God's Son, died for our sins. Jesus took upon himself the sins of the entire world. Jesus received the punishment for our transgressions. Jesus was crushed for our iniquities. And Jesus died under the weight of our sins. He died the death that He didn't deserve, that we deserved. He was buried. He was dead. I mean, buried, dead. But as Paul said, the grave couldn't hold Him. And Jesus was raised to life again on the third day. Do you know what this means? The resurrection of Jesus means that Jesus defeated death. Jesus defeated sin. And the resurrection of Jesus, it guarantees the resurrection of all of us who are saved by and through Him. I mean, this is outstanding. This is astounding. This is unbelievable. But this is the incredible good news of the gospel of Jesus. Death could not hold Jesus. And then Paul reminds us that Jesus then appeared to the hundreds of people, actually well over 500 people ultimately, before he then ascended into heaven to be at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us, his followers. Again, wow. This gospel of Jesus, this good news of what Jesus has done, this free gift of salvation through Christ alone, it's a life changer. It's a game changer. But so many people have never heard this good news. Even in America, I mean, this is supposed to be you know, God's country, right? I, I like, kind of like that country song about God's country. But anyway, America, even in America, there are so many people who have not heard this gospel. I would say, I would say the vast majority. How is it possible? Well, it's because people haven't told them. You know, Romans 10, 14 says that how then can they call on the one that they've not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they've not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? That's convicting, man. Did you know that if you've heard and received the gospel of Jesus, if you're a Christian then you will, you're actually compelled to share the message of first importance, this gospel of Jesus with others. Remember, 
When Jesus called his first disciples, he was on the shores of of the Sea of Galilee. He was actually in in a town called Capernaum. And he was calling his first disciples, the first ones calling to follow him. And Jesus said, come follow me. And then he added this, and I will make you fishers of men. I will send you out to fish for people, Matthew 14, 19. Look, there's there's a mission that's tied with following Jesus. Fishing for people, sharing the gospel of Jesus with others is part of following Jesus. It's just part of being a Jesus follower. We have a mission that Jesus gives every single one of his followers, and that is to share, be a messenger of the gospel, the good news. This isn't just reserved for a group of special Jesus followers who are called evangelists, just those evangelist people, those crazy, outgoing, brave evangelists. No, in fact, again, to follow Jesus is to be a fisher of people, is to be an evangelist of the gospel. They go hand in hand. So here's my encouragement for the one who's not responded to this amazing good news of what Jesus has done and of who Jesus is that He took upon Himself your sins. He died and was buried because of your sins. But God raised Him from the dead. Victory over that sin. Victory over death. And has invited you to take hold of that work that Christ has done. To take hold of salvation. To take hold of forgiveness through Jesus. If that's you, I encourage you, I implore you, that this would be the day of your salvation, that you would say yes to Jesus, that you would walk with Him. I encourage you to find somebody who's already walking with Jesus. Ask them to help you walk with Jesus, to know Jesus as your Savior. And then I want to say this to those of you who already know Jesus as Savior, I encourage you to take this time, even this Passion Week, to go deeper, to actually make Him Lord of your life and to do what He's called you to do. Fish for people. Share the gospel with others. Make this a habit. Make it part of everyday living. This is now your mission. This is your calling. And actually, this is the amazing thing. It's your joy. You know, it's so exciting and so rewarding when we share Jesus with others. I mean, you're going to feel the sweet pleasure of Jesus when you share His good news with others. And so, hey, may your passion week And your Resurrection Sunday celebration be extra special this year, knowing that you've been part of the grand rescue mission of seeking and saving the lost with the gospel of Jesus. One more thing. I invite all of you to join us at Evident Life Church for our special Good Friday outside on our lawn in downtown Gilbert, 7 p.m. on the lawn of Evident Life Church. That's this Friday, April 15th. And of course, I would love to see all of you on Easter Sunday at 10 a.m., Evident Life Church. It's our resurrection celebration. God bless you.